and welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play Zelda A Link to the Past. When we last left off, I was struggling with the controls and I died on several occasions um, and I figured out that there is a way of to get healed in this, in this game. Uh, but never mind, okay, so there's a way to get healed, but I'm not quite sure about whether the healing, uh, healing princess, or healing fairy, sort of, um, only appears one time over, or whether, 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 uh, shit, shit. Whether uh, she reappears an indefinite number of times. And I don't know why I don't use my boomerang. Ooh. Game over. No, I will not reload from the very start. I will just save state. Because I can. I can again. Uh, I know it. It sort of changes. Uh, oh. I know that it changes the gaming experience when you just save state. Like the necroscope, but. Um, or even worse than, 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 than the necroscope. This is a difficult game. Okay? And I'm not going to start playing all over again just because I die here. If you think that I would do that, you have another thing coming. Shit. Maybe I should heal. Just stop attacking me. And he didn't drop a heart. Fantastic. Okay, maybe I should use my magic. Actually. Nope. I wanted to get into my inventory menu. The magic. But well, this is only. Okay, let's try to use the boomerang. Shit. Okay, now they're just... They're just blocking me. Ah, they... Oh, I totally forgot. They stunned. I totally forgot that the boomerang stuns your enemy. Can I... Can I... Destroy this safely? No, I can't. Okay. That's a problem. So we have to... I guess we have to walk... Around. Okay, so I suppose, I suppose that just, it won't be just as, and they reset, of course. I guess they are, it won't be just the matter of walking over there. Um, it would probably involve. Struggling. Struggling a bit. Uh, okay, and this this witch looks. I don't think it's a good idea to just walk over there. She will probably try to kill me, but I seem to have no choice. Okay, at least I get a lot of these green crystals. I'll just ignore you. Shit. <sighs> this is where the game gets really unfair, in my opinion. Okay, I have to heal. Um, 
I can't, I can't do this while I'm on one half. Yeah, just hope that the magic fairy reappears. If she does not, I'm in big trouble. Okay. The magical, not safe for work fairy does reappear, fortunately. Um. Okay, now I will, I will save. Yeah. Now we'll. Okay. Ignoring him was the was, was not the right decision. Shit. Well, I guess I'm just stupid. It would be a lot easier if I just. Well, first of all, if I would know the controls, that would be much easier. And if I would use my boomerang to stun them and then, then just kill them with impunity. Yeah. Get it. Okay, come on, drop, drop a heart. <sighs> it didn't drop a heart. I don't remember. The, I don't remember this game being so difficult, actually. Maybe I just suck. I probably suck. Um, I can buy something, probably a healing potion, but I'm pretty much broke, so let's avoid that. The magic shop, well I, I already figured that out. This is a magic shop and I'm stuck. Okay, I am stuck. This is a bow. You are not going to fool me. And I died. Okay, stun him. Not. <laughs> Freaking fishing net. Not the fishing net. Okay, stun him and then take him out. Sort of reminds me of the time when I was playing Dios X, um, the original game, not the remake. Well, it's not a remake exactly, it's sort of. I mean, I'm not talking about Dios X Human Revolution, I mean the first Dios X game. Dios X Human Revolution, in my opinion, uh, It's a game that is mostly unrelated to DSX. I guess it is. It's an RPG that is in a sort of cyberpunk situ. Uh, not situation, but setting. So, in that sense, it is probably similar to. Uh, Dios X, but otherwise, it's a pretty much it's a different game. Okay, I can just go around there, I suppose. Um, let's ignore him, if possible. And haha. No, you don't. No, you don't. Okay, I'm not. Am I safe? No, I'm not safe there. I know none of these guys ever drop a heart. 
I think there's the village elder. Well, he looks pretty old, at least. I am indeed Sarah Hustler, the village elder and descendants of the seven wise men. Oh, oh really? Mr. Man, I am surprised a young man like you is searching for the sword of evil Spain. Not just anyone can use that weapon. Legends say only... I can't, didn't read that. The hero who has won the three pendants can wield the sword. Do you really wish to find it? Yeah, of course. Hmm. Yeah, of course. Hmm. Of course. Good. <laughs> As a test, can you retrieve the pendant of the courage from the East Palace? Maybe. If you bring it here, I will tell you more of the legend and give you a magical artifact. Uh, I am indeed. Okay, we have seen that dialogue. Yes, I want to... Yes, I want to find it. If you bring it here, I will tell you more of the legend and give you a magical artifact. Now go forward to the palace. I will. After I will have healed. I still can't break through these walls. Okay, fair enough. And my old voice was just terrible. Um, didn't didn't know why. I didn't quite know where I was going for. I think. Okay, I guess these three cherries are sort of my the places I have to go to. Uh, da, 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 da. Hmm. Where do I have to? Oh, I have to get up, so I have to go left, I suppose. So then up, upwards. Uh, like so. How do I get there actually? Maybe I have to drop down from above? Uh, not sure. Okay, so I think I get it. Um, hmm. Probably to go up there. And my timer just um, sounded silently. Just a vibration, and that means that we. We'll continue next time, folks. So until next time, folks, until then.